guys, so today I am here with a chit chat get ready with me video. I have been so inspired by Shannon or Shan XO to kind of start doing these kinds of videos. Um, I'm by no means a makeup artist. I'm just a makeup enthusiast that, you know, tries new things a lot of the time and a lot of the time it may not be applied right or it may not look good, but I feel like that's how the normal person is. They can't really look as beautiful as Shannon does all the time, but I've been kind of inspired to kind of try to do these videos, so this is going to be my first one. Um, I know not a lot of you like my tutorials. I don't get that many views on them, I can tell. Uh, but um, I do want to kind of try doing these because I feel like this will be fun to kind of sit down and do my makeup, talk to you guys, and then also it'll give me kind of a reason to experiment more with my makeup because I've been kind of sticking to the same things and I want to try new things. So uh, today I'm just going to kind of do like an everyday look, really simple, really basic, uh, but I do eventually want to do more like out of the box tutorials and such. Um, so I don't know if this lighting is weird because the window is like right here. I'm trying to adjust the blinds, but it's strange. And then my background is Avery. I need to clean that ASAP. So my body covers it, which is nice. But um, yeah, so I'm going to try and do these. I don't know how often, but if you guys would like to see these more, let me know. Um, because then it would kind of encourage me to do them. So like I said, today I'm just going to do kind of like an everyday look. I haven't really thought too much through it, just kind of like an everyday essentials, but um, I'm going to get started. I'm going to start with my primer. Uh, the one I'm currently using is Laura Mercier's uh, Foundation Primer in Radiance. I talked about this a little bit in my November favorites, and I really like it. I think it gives like the prettiest glow to my skin ever, and as far as like primers go, it definitely works uh, from what I can tell pretty well. Um, I mean, my makeup has kind of stayed all day, but then again, I've also been wearing like long wearing foundations that are supposed to stay all day without the help of a primer anyways, so um, I guess the staying power is okay. Um, this is a product that I use pretty much every day since I started wearing makeup. It's the Maybelline Green Concealer Stick. Uh, stuff's awesome. I'm literally, I haven't been breaking out too bad, so I'm just covering some acne scarring, and I always just put it on my forehead because I get really red in between my eyebrows. The foundation I've been using lately is the Tarte one. I uh, mentioned this in my haul video. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I'm in the shade uh, Fair Beige and I've really been liking it. I think I did really good as far as uh, color selection because considering I ordered it online uh, because I got like the perfect color for me. And to apply it, I've actually been using a brush. I find that a brush actually works a lot better than my beauty blender. This is a Sephora Mineral Powder Brush, number 45, but works great for foundation, so that's just what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna buff this into my skin. I really like the coverage of this foundation. And again, it has like that 12 hour um, staying power, so it stays all day and it doesn't like separate throughout the day which I hate with foundation because I have such dry skin that like it'll separate throughout the day with my dry skin but sorry I'm still pretty sick uh, so I've been liking it it's really nice then I'm gonna use my favorite concealer this is the Maybelline fit me um, I think this is like the best dupe for the NARS uh, radiant creamy concealer so I'm just gonna put some under my eyes um, forehead, down my nose, cupid's bow chin, and then where my acne scarring is, uh, just for a little bit extra coverage, and then I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend it out. Then I'm going to set everything using a powder. Typically, I like to use a translucent powder, but since I've gotten this, I've been using this. This is the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation in Fair. Mine's a little messy, but... I've been liking using it, and I'm just using this as like a Mary Kay uh, powder brush to apply it. And I'm just going to buff this in. This kind of gives me more like that full coverage look uh, that I've really been liking, even though my skin's been decent. And then I'm going to contour. I have been loving Benefits Hula Bronzer. I have like two extra of these. I love 
bronzer. Uh, but I've hit pan on this. I really like it. The brush I use to contour is the Real Techniques contour brush. Um, I got it in like a set. And I don't have any way particular that I do this. I just kind of do it. I feel like these videos could get like really repetitive, especially because I'm going to have to do, not have to, but I'm going to be doing my foundation and stuff um, in every like get ready with me style video. So I feel like these videos could potentially get repetitive. So maybe like in future ones, I'll just not talk about what I'm doing. I don't know, maybe. But then again, there could be new subscribers. So it's like, it's like a double edged sword there. I don't really like a heavy contour, but I feel like it would just look so pretty on me, but I just can't do it right, so this is what I'm doing for now. And it's working. <laughs> and to kind of set everything, I've been using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette a lot. The domes are like all gone, whatever, and I use a Sephora 55 airbrush, run it through all the colors, and just kind of set my face. And I think that's like the perfect finishing touch. And for my brows, I've been trying the Anastasia, um, this is the Brow Powder Duo in medium brown. I just got this, I mentioned this, in a haul as well. Um, I've just been kind of trying it out, so I'm going to take the lighter shade and use that with the brush that I got with it from Anastasia. Take the lighter shade and kind of just fill in the first half of my brows with that. I really don't do my brows that special. I used to like try to, but... Brows are another thing that like I cannot for the life of me get the freaking hang of. So um, this is what I do. And then I'll take the darker color and do the outer half. And the reason I do the um, inner color, like the lighter color for the inner half is because there, you have more hair there. And then the darker color for the outer half is because you have less hair there. So it kind of just fills it in a lot. And then I take the spoolie side and just run that powder through. I'm just going to set my brows using my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This one's like almost gone, but it's still holding up for me. My brows always, no matter what though, like I could put hairspray on my brows and like one of them will always go wonky. Maybe it's because I'm like really expressive with my brows, I don't know. For the eyes, I'm going to start by priming my lids. I've lately been using this Laura Mercier Eye Canvas in EC1. I'm not sure if this is still available. Um, I'll check because I got this for gratis and it was a tester or it was supposed to be a tester but I got it for gratis and we don't, I don't remember ever seeing it ever again so we'll see but I've just been using this as a primer. It's been working really well um, and I really like it. So I zoomed in a little bit to show you guys my eyes but it's been like 30 minutes. I actually had to stop recording because they started mowing and it took them forever, like not even 30 minutes, it was probably like an hour, which is nuts. So um, anyway, so I'm going to do my eyes now. I'm basically just taking my Urban Decay Original Naked Palette, just for kind of like an everyday eye. I'm going to start with this Sony Kashuk Flat Eyeshadow Brush and the shade. This shouldn't really be a surprise if you guys know me. Sin, I love Sin. It's absolutely stunning. It's one of my favorite shades. Um, of all time from Urban Decay. So I'm just going to pack this on my brush and just put this all over the lid. This is kind of like my everyday go-to uh, color too. Like I use Sin for like everything. I'm just going to take this fluffy crease brush from Sony Kashuk and I'm going to start by taking the shade Naked which is right next to Sin. It's a matte kind of um, light brown shade and I'm just going to kind of run this through the crease with no particular like technique just kind of pushing it into the crease sometimes I'll stop there but um today and some other times I'll take Buck which is the other matte shade this one's a little bit darker than Naked and I'll just put this in my crease as well I've been having so many noise problems in this video <laughs> Just taking any sort of clean blending brush, this is a Real Techniques Dual Fiber Eye Brush. I'm just going to kind of run this through the crease too to blend those two colors together and kind of no harsh lines basically. Just I don't want any harsh lines. I'm going to highlight using this Sephora brush. I think they still have this set that this came in. It was like a smoky eye set, uh, but it's a huge flat eyeshadow brush. So I'm going to use this as my with my highlight, which is going to be uh, Virgin. 
They're still kind of mowing, but they've moved a little further down. I'm also going to highlight my inner corner. I haven't done this since like high school, but um, I was watching some of my older videos yesterday and I remembered how much I loved it. So I'm going to start by taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Mine is like so small. Putting a little bit of this in the inner corners, just a tiny, tiny bit, and then pressing it in with my pinky. Then I'm taking a small eyeshadow brush. This one was like a My Glam brush. And I'm going to take Virgin and use that as my inner corner highlight. I like to use Milk first because I think Milk stays a lot longer and it kind of makes the shadow a little bit brighter too. For liner, I'm just using this miniature Stila, uh, Stila Stay All Day liquid waterproof eyeliner. I got this as like a 100 point prick from Sephora. It's a really nice high-end um, liquid liner and I'm just going to create kind of a little wing. So it's like my everyday wing. It's like so simple and easy. It takes me like two seconds. <laughs> nervous when doing winged liner. And I get especially nervous when doing like cat eye eyeliner because I always am like exactly like that picture that you guys see on Twitter. Like one eye looks good and the other looks bad and then I go to fix the other eye and then it's wonky and it's just a hot mess. So I like to just kind of keep it simple. Uh, then I'm taking my Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Pencil in Zero. Mine's so small, and I'm actually going to line my entire waterline. Typically, I'll stay, uh, like, about there, in the outer corner. But lately, I've been liking it all the way in because, again, I used to do this in high school, and I really liked it, and I don't know why I stopped. I'm just going to curl my lashes. This is an e.l.f. eyelash curler. I absolutely hate it, but it was a dollar, so what can you do? And again, if you guys know me, you know that I love to layer mascaras. I have so many mascaras to get through anyway, so I just like to layer them. And I just like the effect that it gives. So the two that I'm using currently, the first one is the Givenchy Phenomenize Mascara in Phenom Black. This is a really cool mascara. It's the little, like, um, ball. And I actually really like it. It gives a really cool, like, um, definition. It actually gives, like, really nice length and definition, and it looks really nice. So I'm going to apply this. It does take a lot longer though to apply it because you pretty much have to do like each individual lash. But um, the end result is like phenomenal. So I'm also going to do my lower lashes with this as well. And the mascara I'm layering on top of it, I probably shouldn't have chose these two together because they pretty much do the exact same thing. But whatever, I've already opened them. And it's the Marc Jacobs Blacker Mascara. Again, like I said, it does pretty much the exact same thing as the Givenchy one. Uh, the formula is a little bit wetter, which is weird. But it just kind of lengthens. It doesn't really do any volumizing or anything. But I just kind of use it to help lengthen just a teensy bit more. And to add a more black mascara, I guess. And you back out. They're mowing again. I hate my life. Um, but anyway, so for blush today, I'm just going to use Benefit's Box Powder in Sugar Bomb. I mentioned this in my November favorites as well. Uh, I love this blush. It is beautiful and I highly recommend it. I'm just going to use the brush that comes with it and really kind of like buff it into my cheeks, like right on top of the contour. I think this blush is so pretty and if you don't own it, I highly, highly suggest it. Like this is such a nice everyday blush. I really can't win today when it comes to noises. <laughs> and for a highlight, I'm just taking this like no name brush. It's not real techniques, it has literally no name on it. I'm using this brush and I'm taking Becca's uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Opal, which is like slowly but surely becoming my new favorite highlighter because it is literally stunning and I love it so much. Uh, so you don't need a lot of this. Like Jacqueline Hill says, I follow her and like Shannon for tutorials all the time, clearly. Uh, you don't need a lot of it. It gives like the prettiest glow with just like a tap. So I'm just going to put it on my cheekbones and a little down my nose. Lips today. I want to do nude. I'm thinking a darker nude. I have two dark nudes that I really like. I have Max Yash, which is a matte and it's really pretty. I've worn this a lot. And then I have the Sephora collection. I think this is a matte one too. Sephora Rouge in R21 Ingenuous. It looks like this. I have only worn this one a couple times. So maybe I'll do this one today since I wear Yash a lot. Um, but I'm going to start just by quickly like priming my lips. This is the Bite Beauty uh, Line and Define Lip Primer. I haven't used this in such a long time. And I just dug it out of my collection uh, the other day. And I was like, yes. I used to use this every day, but 
I kind of use it like a chat stick. And I like to use it specifically when I'm doing like um, nude lips and not darker lips because I use different lip liners for dark lips. So I'll just use this and it kind of helps with any like feathering or anything like that. And then I'm going to take that Sephora lipstick and apply that. My lips are so um, crackly and disgusting. I need to get an exfoliator, like bad. So they've continued to mow, so I'm sorry if you guys hear it, but we're at the end of the video, so it should be okay. Uh, this is the finished look, just kind of like an everyday look. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of chit-chat type video. If you guys would like to see more, let me know, and I will definitely do them. If there's any types of like particular colors or anything, lip colors, eye colors, blush colors that you want me to try, that you know that I have, feel free to let me know as well. That would give me more inspiration and more time to kind of do more videos like this. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I upload this. I don't know. We'll see. I'll edit it and see if I like it. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and subscribe to me if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.